Oh my goodness, tell me help. I don't have enough hands to, I'm not an octopus, okay, <laughs> to pick up all the stuff that I'm trying today. This is just insane. Hey, Francis Shackley here. In today's video, I'm super excited because I'm gonna be trying on some of the most hyped up makeup products of 2021 as far from higher brands, luxury brands. I mean, I'm talking about Chanel and their Sublimage Le Essence du Temps Foundation, Tatcha and the Silk Powder, also Estelle Lauder and their new Revealios Rose Black, VCR, Paris Love Letter Etendu Palette, The Benefit Mascara, some Hermes Lipstick, Gucci Lip Liner, Huda Beauty and their Bone Brows, the newest Guerlain Bronzers, Anastasia Brow Freeze, and much more. But before we get started, and if you're new here, I hope that you will give me that opportunity and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you ring the post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. And come and follow me on my Instagram. And now, if you want to know if all these products are worth the hype, then just keep on watching. I'm starting today with a clean canvas because I'm super excited. I'm gonna be trying a ton of new products, products that just launched and they are super hype. And like I said, I'm just super, super excited. So I was thinking because I'm gonna be trying the touch of the silk powder. I uploaded it my beauty haul this past Sunday and that same day I received on the mail the new Dior foundation. But you know what? I mean, let me show it to you. This is the Forever Natural Nude. It comes like this, but I'm thinking, you know, perhaps I should do just a full day wear test with this friend. With the products that I'm using today, I perhaps I want to put in a clip or on a pin comment down below. I will let you know how everything works. But yeah, I think I'm going to leave this for, um, I will review it this week for sure. I will review it this week, but I'm thinking I want to use a foundation that I'm fam very familiar with. So that way I can really assess the situation with a touch of the silk powder and a product that I was thinking, you know, like it's not new to me because I have been using it for at least five months now, but it's new to the American market. And I know a lot of you guys have been eyeing it, that you're like debating. I have done a fuller review and wear test on this product. I also have done comparisons with, well, let me tell you which product I'm talking about. I'm talking about the new Chanel Sublimage Le Essence Zutang Foundation. So this just came out again to the US market because it has been available in Europe and you know what I'm thinking okay so like I said I have done my full-on wear test the video is up already I also have done a side-by-side -side comparison and wear test with a new Chanel Le Beige healthy glow foundation too so that being said I'm gonna be using these today so if you haven't seen it it comes with a little brush right here the brush is super nice super soft too I'm gonna be using the touch of the liquid silk canvas but not all over my face I'm just gonna use it on this side of my face on my large pores on this area the other side of my face I'm not gonna use any primer at all and then I'm just gonna use the silk powder okay so let's just start with this friend right here and I'm just gonna use a very little amount Right over here. Now let's go with the Sublimage Le Essence Lutant. Now I do have it in the shade B40. By the way, all the products that I will be talking about today, they will be on the description box below. There will be links to. I'm gonna be using a little bit of this product. I use about kind of like half a pump first, and then if I need to build up in certain areas, then I do so. I do have a ton of freckles and a little bit of this coloration here and there in some areas wear your SPF, that's super important <laughs> so you don't get those discolorations. By the way, talking about SPF, if you haven't seen it, I have done my skincare routine morning time. So right there, I show everything that I use. So we have a pump, you get very light coverage. I'm gonna use another half a pump and just start building it up just a little now this foundation is super lightweight non cakey does have a beautiful radiance it's kind of like serum like not completely serum but a light to a serum kind of foundation very very beautiful i will highly suggest you if you're interested on a full review and full details of this foundation to go and check out my video i will make sure to put it on the cards somewhere or on the description box below 
time I'm gonna do my brows I have been using for a long time right now the Gucci brow pencil I love love this one but then Huda Beauty has come up with the hashtag bomb brows and it says to have a very fine fine tip so I'm like okay you know what let me just give it a go I bought this one I think it was at Sephora and this is how it looks like you may have already seen it everywhere <laughs> in the internet. So one side you have your spoolie, the other side is the pencil. Oh yeah, it's very, very shiny. Okay, I got it in the shade for light brown. Okay, you have to see it right there. Let me just do a quick. Okay, it's not super like soft I hope it's not scratchy either because I don't like when products are too scratchy but yeah it seems like it's gonna give very precise lines and one that is one of my favorite ones is the one from Hourglass but this one kind of has not like an oval type of pencil I mean here's the one from Hourglass I mean, the difference is there. Yeah, this one is a lot thinner than the one from Huda Beauty. Now, I like the shade though of the one from Hourglass. It's a little bit cooler in tone. The one that I got right now from Huda Beauty is a little bit warmer in tone, so hopefully it works. Okay, I also purchased this new Anastasia Brow Freeze. So this is supposed to give you that kind of like wispy brows, like very kind of laminated. So I don't know, I have been using for so long my Benefit Brow Setter that I love so much. So let's see how this works. It comes in this packaging right here. It's just a very clear product. Let me just touch it. It feels kind of not super waxy. It even feels just a little bit thick. So I'm just gonna grab a spoolie. Okay, I don't know if I'm grabbing too much. I think I have seen people spreading it on the cup a little and then going from there. So I don't know if I'm doing a mess or not or if I like to do this process. Okay, so it's super thin and really separating my brows. Now for under eye concealer, this is a combo of concealer and corrector. It's the Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage Brightening and Correct Duo. There you go, and let me just show it to you. Here you go. I got it in the shade 2C. I usually use a color corrector because I do have very dark under eye areas. So I have right here two sides. I don't know if the shade is right, but then I went again to my local Sephora and oh my gosh, this is so light. Goodness me. Ah, I think that's gonna be too, too bright. But the other shades, they look too deep for me. I don't know. Okay, so this is the side that I'm supposed to correct and yes, it does have more of like a salmony tone. That's so light. Ah, no way. I'm gonna use my Pat McGrath concealer brush to spread it. You know, with this shade, I don't know if I need the brightening one because this is so light <laughs> that it will look kind of whitish on my skin tone. So let's see how this goes. This is spreading is super easy though. It's not too thick. That's something that concerns me a little because it's a creamy formula if it was too thick, but it seems like it's thinning out fairly easy. I don't know if you're able to see it on camera, but it's looking patchy. Um, yeah, I don't think I like it. Honestly, um... Okay, friends, moving on, let's go with the Tatcha the Silk Powder. It comes in this box right here. It costs $48 and it's made in Japan. It says here that it's a talc-free, translucent setting powder that has a radiant finish that blurs while cocooning the skin from pollutants and blue light. Okay, 
and this is the way it comes I mean when I saw it I thought oh my gosh this is so tiny but then I check on the amount of product that you get you get 20 grams and if we're talking about something like for example the Laura Mercier powder you get 29 grams this I think is $39 so it's obviously a little less expensive in the sense of you know grams too so more cost effective then I was thinking okay what about the hourglass the hourglass it appears to be really large and big but you only get 10.5 grams of product and then I have here the magic powder from Charlotte Tilbury this comes with 13 grams of product so I mean less than this one it doesn't seem like but yeah less than, than this one and so it becomes more expensive the one from Charlotte Tilbury so value I think is there now the packaging itself I mean it's very pretty you know Tatcha but it looks very I mean it feels really not too weighty it's not cheap either and I really like the soft material too so it has as usual I mean if you're familiar with Tatcha they usually put this kind of like little sticker and okay, take it out and then it has a this kind of like a band right here that it contains the powder in and then after that I guess I don't know you can do like this and then see what you get <laughs> oh yeah you get plenty of product right there so it kind of like self dispense I don't think you need to do too much about it to get enough product and I'm gonna go ahead and use my Wayne Goss the airbrush brush and I'm just gonna pick some I think that's just a little too much I'm gonna put it on my under eye area so I'm just gonna tap it on the top and I'm gonna set this crazy concealer. The powder is very, very thin. Like super thin. Finely, finely nail. Finely, finely nail. It's like so thin. And there's no scent to it. At least none that I can really tell. I'm just gonna grab just a little more right here and I'm gonna place it. So right here I put the steel canvas here. I'm just gonna tap it with the powder and kind of set it and see if it does that blurring effect it actually does but you know I don't find it radiant I find it a little bit more on the mattifying side I don't see a lot of radiance to it perhaps also because I do have dry skin so but these areas right here usually are normal on my skin so not super matte but it has just a very natural finish I should say. Now I'm gonna go with my La Mer brush and I'm just gonna go ahead and coat it with a little bit of the powder. I have that much and I'm just gonna take it and set the foundation kind of like on the perimeter of my face just wherever I'm gonna apply the bronzer. Not that I need to because this foundation right here it's beautiful without setting it. I love it actually without setting it. Okay, jumping into the Guerlain, the bronzing powder. So this is their new powder. It's just a new edition <laughs> and it's available right now only at Sephora, which makes me really happy. It comes in so many different shades. I really wanted the shade 03, but it was never in stock. So I'm just waiting to come in stock. So I ended up getting the one in number four. This is the packaging right here. Isn't it? It's beautiful. Ah, I love it but it's so deep <laughs> it is what i think is just too deep for me it does have it seems like a beautiful radiance now the shade is so pretty i don't know it may work for my skin tone let's see i'm going with a sunny g face pro brush and uh, let's just stop once scent it does have the typical scent of Guerlain, but it's not as strong as other powders okay went really well it has this shade right here it does have a well it's called foncé rosé so it does have that rosé or red undertone to it i thought it was gonna be really deep i'm sh i mean like you can obviously go ham with it <laughs> and get it to this intensity but if you go like i'm tapping and then dispersing the product the shade looks good. In fact, it kind of reminds me a little more to the Gucci bronzer. 
And you know what? Guerlain terracotta bronzers, they are just such a staple. In fact, in France, they don't they don't talk about bronzer like bronzer. They just say terracotta <laughs> to their bronzer because it's just such a staple for many French women. I'm really excited to try this new Estelle Lauder blush. It's called the Pure Color MB in 01 Revealious Rose. Just comes in one shade. It's very, very pretty. Oh, it's so soft to touch. And you know what? Although it has a rosy tone, it's a little bit more of like coral in it too. It's lovely and it's creamy to the touch. I don't know, this consistency kind of like doesn't recall to anything that I have tried before. It feels really soft. Let's see how it applies on the cheeks. I'm gonna go with my Sonia G soft cheek brush. For highlighter, I'm gonna go with that Chanel Lessing du Long in Or Rose. So this over here came out, I think it was 2019, I think. Don't quote me on that, but it was a limited edition one and now it's back on Chanel's website. So I was like, okay, I don't have this one in my collection. I really want to give it a try. And look at the packaging right here. Isn't it? This? Oh, so pretty. So beautiful. So it comes with a half moon. And then there is the lion. Oh, it's so beautiful. So beautiful. She is so pretty. I have been loving so much the Perles de Lumière, this one right here. Let me know if you want to see my Chanel collection like of blushes or like highlighters. So I have here the new one and this one is the Le Lyon. So they are both so pretty. So pretty. You're going to barely see it right there. But they, they are. I will be happy to do it. Okay, well, let me just go with the half moon. Ooh. Oh, that's so beautiful. You know what? Chanel really knows how to do highlighters. They don't do it much, they are usually limited edition, but they do such an amazing job and oh, this is just too pretty, too pretty for words. I'm so happy to add it to my collection. Let's move on into eyeshadows. I'm super excited for this eyeshadow palette. It's from VCR. Is it your new Paris Love Letter Etch and Do palette? They were so sweet and they sent it to me. Thank you so, so much, VCR. I was just super excited when I saw it. I think it's the cutest palette. I love this packaging right here. Look at this beauty with all the little hearts everywhere. I mean, it's just so beautiful. This is their easel, you know, palette. It's a little bit bigger than their Petite Pros. And this is the color story. I think the color story is just very beautiful. I know a lot of people have been saying that, oh, it's very alike to the one from Mel Thompson. And I have it right here. You know, these appear on my favorites of 2020. Such a great formula from Sydney Grace. But I will have to say they are very, very different. I think a lot of what people are seeing is the green in there with the purple. But as you can tell, this is more more muted while the one from Mel it's a lot more vibrant it does have I mean it's just a different route also if you take out that green and the purple shade or even just the format that is condensed right here you will see that most of the palette is actually more into that peachy melon tone so I really think that they are different. I'm just gonna go ahead and swatch it right here. I'm just gonna go row by row. Letterbox, Beloved, Charm, Chocolatier, Sonnet, Cupid, Blooming, Lovelorn, Arrow, Poem, 
Amor and Bala. There you go. I mean, it's a beautiful color story. I think you have seen maybe perhaps a lot of looks with the green shade. So I'm gonna skip the green shade and I'm gonna wear it because I have this purpley tone blouse. I think I'm gonna go with that one right there. Also because I just used the new quad from Shantekai, the one from the Butterfly, and that has green. And I like this kind of green actually, that is a little bit more in the lime green. It's a little bit more vibrant and it really complements really well when you have a nice bronze. I'm gonna set my eyes first with this shade and I'm gonna use my Scott Barnes number 62 brush. I'm just taking it all over the eyelid. Again, I'm just using it kind of to set the concealer. Next, I'm gonna go with Refer number 14 brush in the shade Arrow. Okay, this eyeshadow is very softly pressed. So it's kicking up some powder, not a lot, but just a little. Refer 13 brush and I'm going to keep it. Oh, it's a beautiful coral shade. Just gonna take it right here in between. And that same shade, I'm just gonna take it on the crease too a little. Smith 253 brush and the shade Amour. And I'm applying this from the inner portion to the outer third. I really want to use this shade Ballad. And I'm going to go with my Sonia G Builder Pearl. I know I'm going to cover it just a little bit that peachy tone, but I think I want to take it right here towards the end. Sonia Jeep Mini Booster and the shade Chocolatier. I'm just dipping it out just a little bit in my outer V. Sonia G Flat Definer and the shade Chocolatier. And I'm going to take it on my lower lash line and define this area. Refer 03 Brush and the shade Poem. And this shade I'm going to take it on my inner corner and also on my brow bone. I'm going to use my Benefit Roller Liner and this is in a brown shade and I'm just going to line my upper lash. Ooh, and then for lashes, this is another very hyped up product. This is by Benefit. It's called They Are Real Magnet Mascara. So it's supposed to have these magnet force that kind of like give extreme lashes. I do have this hourglass that it has magnets inside and then the base is a metal so you can see like how the magnets kind of like poke. I'm gonna put a clip right here so you can see it. So every time that I have been seeing you know ads on these I'm thinking about my hourglass. <laughs> Sorry I just had to tell you that but anyhow friends here it is. This is how it looks like. Let's see how it looks the wand. So it is a plastic wand. I don't know, hopefully it's not that pokey. And let's just see how it works. Oh, let's see how the magnets make them grow. It seems to be a very kind of like thick consistency mascara. What do you think? Mm, I mean, it does work. The only thing is, I feel like they, it feels like they are gonna get clumped together. It's just a type of formula that is very kind of on the thicker side. I'm super excited for the next product because it's from Gucci and is one of their lip liners. This is the little box. I decided to get the shade Nude and. Here it is, the pencil. It's a very simple pencil, nothing too fancy. It's just, you know, the one that you need to sharpen it. What I was like surprised about it is it didn't come with a sharpener. <laughs> Not that it has to, but like a lot of luxury brands, they come with a sharpener. Not all of them though, but you know, anyhow. <laughs> so I'm just gonna line my nails. I 
you know, it glides so pretty smoothly. Let me give you some comparison swatches right here. So this is the one from Gucci Nude. And then I have here, one of my favorite ones is from Panama Graph. This is in the shade Contour. This is a lot deeper in tone, as you can tell right there. Then I have here Iconic Nude from Charlotte Tilbury. This pulls more pink in it. The one from Gucci is more beige in tone. And then I have right here the one from MAC in the shade Oak. Just gonna put it right over here. Yeah, Oak is also warmer. So definitely the one from Gucci is a little bit more beige in tone. So Parma Graph, Gucci, Charlotte, and Oak from MAC. So I will have to say it's more alike to Oak from MAC. So if you like this shade right here, you will like this shade from Gucci. Okay, and then for lipstick, it's my favorite part. You know that, my friends. So I picked up two of the new Hermes Rouge Alert in Satin. This is from the year Spring 2021 collection. So I got the shades Beige et Bleu and then Rose Oasis. So I think I'm gonna go with beige and blue. And by the way, one of you guys told me if I can do kind of like my full, you know, collection of Hermes lipsticks. I do have already one app. I have been adding just a couple more. I can do maybe one, I will say perhaps after the new lipsticks come out, if you're interested on. Anyhow, my friends, there you go. That's it. This is beige et bleu so i think this shade will go well with this look because let me show you rose oasis it's more of like a fangwa kind of shade so same packaging i mean it's so lovely i cannot wait for the blushes to come i love this packaging right here i just love it this shade right here i don't think it's gonna go with a look so it's beautiful but i will leave it for another time so i'm gonna go with the shade beige et bleu oh it has a little bit of like a pink undertone to it okay let me just give you a little bit of my feedback first impressions of these products that I have tried going into the Laura Mercier concealer and um, brightening corrector I honestly do not like it on me I mean it's not a bad product it's not thick it's not gathering but it just doesn't do much for my under eyes you know dark circles I do have very pronounced under eye circles so it doesn't do a lot for me and hence that's why I don't like it but I can see how someone that doesn't have you know very dark under eye circles will really enjoy it and love it because it doesn't gather I do have you know fine lines under my eyes and it's not gathering on those fine lines so it's not creasing and I like that also going into the new the Tatcha the silk powder so much high expectations I really love how thin this product is it's very like finely finely meal in fact it kind of reminds me to the Charlotte Tilbury in the press form the setting powder the airbrush flawless finish powder again the one in the compact that like finely finely meal it doesn't I mean like, I wasn't able to perceive any any scent to it it actually feels so nice on the skin I don't see much of a radiance but more of like a natural finish and I can tell you that this powder it does actually blur your large pores and fine lines it does a great job I mean I have right here the Tatcha the Silk Canvas Primer and that has kind of like a blurring effect but I can see it more blur right here where I apply this brand right here so great product really excited about it because as you guys know I moved to Florida it's a lot more humid and hot right here it feels like summer already and I just think this powder is gonna be amazing mostly if you have fine lines more mature skin or you don't want to use like heavy powders this is beautiful I mean this powder definitely is nothing for oh I'm gonna bake with this powder no way don't um, no, don't do that 
the way that it dispenses though i wish it was another mechanism because there's some powder sitting in there but i mean it's all good okay now moving on to bronzer so the bronzer from Guerlain. you know what i was really scared on the shade and i will have to say that you can really build it to the intensity that you want as you were able to see i mean it's not like super red it looks so flawless and seamless it's finely meal it does have a little bit of radiance in it in fact you can see it on the pan and that makes it not to be flat and actually when you have a either a bronzer or a blush that has a little bit more of like a satiny finish it actually helps to give that dimension to the face and not make it super flat and then for the blush i have to say i'm quite impressed i was able to build intensity it looks super pretty, very natural, rosy, corally tone. That finish of it, you know, that the formulation is feels like a cream to it. It's just so soft, so soft. I'm super happy that I got it. I haven't got anything from Stay Louder since last year, and this is a really good product. I will have though to report back with you about longevity because that's something that we always want to see on blushes. So that's the only thing that I will have to report back about it, but I really like it. And I think this is limited edition too, so which is a total shame right there. And then as far as highlighter, I mean Chanel. <laughs> Chanel, 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 they have an excellent formulation for highlighters. I mean, it really looks like a glow from within, from the skin with a little bit of that pinky chief to it it's just so beautiful and tell me if this is not gorgeous i'm so happy that i added to my collection super happy about it now going into brow products so for the huda beauty bone brows i honestly I, I think i have to warm up to it because i feel that the consistency of the pencil itself is just a little bit hard and i don't like when when that consistency of the pencil itself is just too hard on me. It's not a scratching, but I just like something that it goes, glides on a little bit smoothly. I really like how fine the tip it is, but let's count also that I have a lot of brow hair, so I don't have a lot of sparse areas, just very minimal. Yeah, it feels like it's okay for me. Um, I will have just to keep trying it. And then going into the Anastasia Beverly Hills, the Brow Freaks, actually it frees the brows and it's not thick it's not like a thick thick gel that you can feel it on your brows it's nothing like that i mean they are there and i mean i have to report back but they look really nice i wish though i mean i know she has one that comes with a brush and you know like a regular tube why she didn't come out with that same formula but you know in that dispenser it would have been nice so that way you don't have to have an extra spoolie but i really enjoy the performance of this product right here so far i really like what i see and then moving on to the eyeshadow palette from bcr the cover story is just so spring like it's very beautiful now right here i will have to tell you that i find out that the matte shades on this particular palette they are very softly pressed they do work well they were i was able to blend them and whatnot but they are very very softly pressed so go ahead and you know just tap very gently and tap the excess that's one thing then if i have to give any feedback right here i think i mean if you take away these two shades right here and even this shade right here like this l right here most of the palette is a very peachy tone palette which i love i love peach tones so my feedback right here would it have been lovely to see since we have some cool tones right here to see another cool tone perhaps instead of this shade right here or of this shade right here i mean just a little bit of variation right there and maybe another deep shade but in the cool tone area something into kind of like the purpley burgundy tone it would have been really nice so that way you have a little bit more versatility right here but other than that i mean i think it's a very well done palette it's very delicate very spring like very just super soft beautiful and i really love the performance of these shadows right here the metallic shades they really perform really really well right here of the eyeshadows that i have tried today 
I really like the end result that I have right here. Okay, and now moving on into what else we try today. We tried so many things. We got mascara right here. I think this is a very, I mean, it does have that result of lengthening the lashes. Not much, I mean, like you see a little bit of volume, but not that much. The only thing that I was concerned when applying this mascara is that it feels very thick and kind of like, I shouldn't say sticky because in I never find out that my lashes they are you know like um, getting clumping together. But I was afraid that it was gonna happen. It never did. But you will you will feel the thickness on this mascara. And you know what? It looks really nice. I will have to report back to you if it flakes or not. But I'm excited for the product. Now going into the Gucci lip liner. This is a beautiful liner. I mean, this is a very classic nude shade that will just go really well with so many tones really beautiful product i don't think it's long lasting though i mean i will have to try it and report back but i had the swatches on my arm and then i remove it and it just removed with easy but the same as all the other ones including the one from pat mcgrath so i will have to say perhaps the longevity of the lip liner will be along the lines as a charlie tilbury and a pat mcgrath one i will just have to obviously report back on that and then Hermes and their lipsticks. I mean, I haven't tried the other one, but the one that I tried today, honestly, stunning, beautiful. It's limited edition. So if you're looking for a beautiful nude shade, you're gonna love this right here. This is just stunning. It has just a little bit of warmth in it, but not too much. Just a sprinkle of pink in it. And then it's just such a beautiful shade. Again, it's the shade Beige et Bleu. And it's not your typical beige. Sometimes I notice that some beige, they pull a lot more yellow on me. This one does it. I mean, like overall, I'm super happy with my makeup today. I think everything turned out fairly good. And I would love to know from you guys, have you tried any of these products right here? And let me know if you're excited for me to try this new Dior foundation. Sorry. <laughs> I was showing it another way and I'm sorry if I'm looking outside but I have I have big windows right here and I see iguanas are they iguanas or they are just like lizards they are these bright beautiful green and then they see beautiful butterflies moner butterflies so I have a full scenario right here it's beautiful out there anyhow my friends I really enjoy this try on of new very high up makeup I will again love to hear from you let's continue the conversation down below and while you're at it and if you haven't done so yet I hope that you can give me that opportunity and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you ring that post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. And come and follow me on my Instagram. If you like this video, do not forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, share with family and friends. And until the next time, I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful day.